like John Murray, uh, you know, people see John and they think, oh, is that Sherry's sidekick? John Murray has known Kim and I. She, he actually knew Kim first. Kim introduced me to John. But John uh, was an entertainment, or still is, he doesn't do it as much, entertainment pu- uh, pundit, entertainment journalist. John literally knows everybody in Hollywood. John knows where every bone is buried because everybody tells him that. Um, he does a lot of uh, m- management for people, crisis control, like people call John Murray. So John was always, you would see him on CNN and doing all the pundit stuff. And when I asked uh, John, because he would always help me when I filled in for Wendy, he would help me like craft my thoughts. Because a lot of times I'm going to say this right now, when I'm tired, I get to talk in the diary of the mouth which gets me in a lot of trouble. It, it, I've always gotten in trouble when I was little. I got in trouble in the middle years. I got in trouble in high school. I get in trouble now. So a lot of times I got in trouble on The View, my diarrhea of the mouth when I'm tired. And so sometimes, so he helps me articulate, he would help me when I filled in, kind of articulate my thoughts so they were succinct and I could get my jokes out. And so when they offered me the talk show, I had always told John because we produce stuff together. And I always said, John, if I get a talk show, you have to come and like be right there with me. So when I got the talk show, I said, you have to become the executive producer because I cannot make this journey without you. And I really had to fight for John. And basically I was like, I won't do the journey without John. So he gave up really a big part of his career because he was moving up, up, up. And he gave up pretty much all of that to come on board with me because producing a talk show, people who watch it don't see him in the front. John had Janet Jackson come on when she surprised me. That was John Murray. He did that. We got people. Guests, huh? He know a lot like, of people. I'm talking, everywhere I go, somebody he knows. knows. People. <laughs> and John calls in a lot of favors. So I can't. I don't think that we've announced them yet, but we got a big group coming on uh, on the show. John Murray, he gets a lot of people there. He makes a lot of stuff happen. And when you see the success of my show is literally like, it's our brainchild and he makes it happen in the back. He's there in the morning and he's there till late. So a lot of things that I do in my act one, we call it my act one, where I do hot topics and stuff like that. Yeah. John Murray is behind. He comes in a room every day because I don't have a joke writer, so I do my I do my own material, and so As he would, if it doesn't take a lot from you if it hey, don't stress. Let's let's give Sherry some credit too. I know, yeah. like for a fact, don't realize how hard that is to do your own stuff. Oh my gosh! Speaking of, speaking of Ellen. Yeah. Ellen had a daytime talk show. I can name two people that we do a podcast here with Midcoast Media, Greg Fitzsimmons and Mike Gibbons, incredibly talented writers who've worked on all kinds of fun stuff. They were part of a, a cast of seven or eight writers. When I tell you, people on talk shows have writers. Nick Cannon had four writers uh, who helped him with his jokes. Ellen DeGeneres had a ton of writers. I don't have any, I don't have any writers. I, it's me. And I have to, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Norman. Norman. The, I get people who are just naturally funny around me, Norman. Mm-hmm. And there's another producer named Ashley. So when we go over our, what I'm going to talk about in the morning, I might come in and say, oh my gosh, this such, such and such happened. And it was so funny. Now I'm a comic, so I know how to craft it. So it's funny, mm-hmm. but they add things. Cause you know, when people are adding things, B, it makes you think of even more stuff. No, and true. so they're there. And they'll say something and it'll spark more funny. But that's typically what a writer would do. Like a writer would sit with me and say, Sherry, we got this topic. Here's seven, eight jokes that you could just pull from. So I don't have that. So when I'm sitting on that chair, it's literally me coming up with stuff off of my head. But what John does is he crafts it because a lot of times with that, you'll say things that may not be politically correct. You may say things that are going to get you because it's a live show a lot of talk shows are pre-taped so if you say something crazy they can edit that out or if you have technical difficulties they edit that out my i'm sitting on the couch we're live if i burp if i because one time i did the podcast b and i couldn't stop coughing so chris he just shut the podcast off two funny mamas two funny mamas (laughs) 